New information on the deadly shooting at the home of a federal judge in New Jersey. It turns out the judge, not her husband, was the gunman's intended target. And now police, thousands of miles away, say he's a suspect in another murder. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has more from North Brunswick. The average guy works 44% longer than the average girl. The views held by Roy Den Hollander were seen as so outrageous, the Colbert Report poked fun at him. Then they'll change their tune and they'll start whining, where's the kitchen? Roy Den Hollander is the anti-feminist lawyer. Where does he find the courage? But the tragedy the 72-year-old lawyer brought to this North Brunswick neighborhood is nothing short of chilling. The self-proclaimed men's rights activist is now also a prime suspect in the murder of a prominent attorney in California. Like the case in New Jersey, the gunman was dressed as a FedEx driver. The victim was a member of the National Coalition for Men. Den Hollander had been kicked out of the group. And he was out for all his enemies. I'm thinking, oh, God, thank God I wasn't there. Because Barbara Wise lived in the same East Village building as Den Hollander and says he had problems with everyone. Some people, would, when I was in the elevator, would say, oh, you live above him? Has he started bothering you yet? And I think yes. They said, look, yeah, he's trouble. Before killing the son of Judge Esther Salas and critically injuring her husband Sunday, Den Hollander argued a case before her in 2015, writing a series of racist and sexist remarks about the federal judge. Authorities found Den Hollander dead of an apparent suicide in his car upstate Monday. Investigators also found the address and a photo of New York State Chief Judge Janet DeFiori. They won't say whether she was next on his list. The mayor of North Brunswick, Mac Wal Max says being a judge is a dangerous job. They accept an awful lot of risks that people just don't appreciate. Authorities say the gun used at the shooting here at the judge's house is the same one Den Hollander used to take his own life. The weapon is now being tested to see if it's connected to that case in California. In North Brunswick, New Jersey, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.